channel. Today's video is going to be a Kylie Jenner inspired look. I am finally back in North Carolina at my home and I have not filmed for so long so I wanted to jump into it with a makeup tutorial and this one's inspired by Kylie Jenner. It's that new picture where I will place it like right here but it's that new picture where she's in the red and her makeup's really really done. I really really love the way the look came out so I thought I would go ahead and film this for you guys. There's so many things that I want to film for you guys and yeah I'm just glad to be back and I missed you guys so so much like it's crazy. I can't even believe how much I missed you guys so I can't wait to get back to filming and I have like all these ideas that I want to come up with and share with you guys like there's so much that I had to say but I like literally just like went blank I hope you guys enjoy this video comment down below if you guys have any questions or anything I always love interacting with you guys and yeah if you want to get a hold of me or interact with me more then just go ahead and follow my Instagram because I'm always on there but yeah, that's basically everything that I had to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because that always helps out. And yeah, that's basically it. I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys. So starting off, I'm just going to use NC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation on my face. And then I'm just going to go in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime my eyes. And then with any matte vanilla shade um, I'm gonna use that on my brown bone everything will be listed down below next I'm going to dip into chocolate from my Anastasia Beverly Hills little palette and I'm just going to place that on the outer C and and above into the crease just a tiny bit because you do want some depth in there and she did have some depth you just couldn't see clearly of what she had so I just went off of based off what I've seen and then I'm just going to blend that out so there's no harsh lines after I blend to my liking I'm going to go ahead and grab I believe this is melon pigment and I'm going to wet my brush just a tad bit and I'm going to place that all over my lid Then once I get it to the pigmentation that I like, I'm going to move on and just prep my eyes for falsies with my L'Oreal Voluminous Black Mascara and I'm using House of Lashes in Siren. Next I'm using Creamy Beige by LA Girl Cosmetics and my NC20 to conceal underneath my eyes. It just brightens and gives the perfect highlight underneath. She was super highlighted so I wanted to go ahead and replicate that. Then I just go ahead and blend it in with my fingers and then to make it look a little bit more flawless I use my beauty blender. And then of course to set everything, I always use MAC Emphasize and my Ben Nye Banana Powder and my Real Techniques Setting Brush. And then after that's all said and done, I believe I grabbed, yes this is MAC Coaster Riche and I just placed that on the lower lash line above my, uh, sorry above, below my lower lash line and then I'm just going to pull that up to make it somewhat of a wing because it she did have like a line right there but it wasn't like a winged liner it was somewhat of the eyeshadow so just try to replicate that and then i do that on both sides of course and then as you will see i am going to blend it up with the brush and just try to make it look really blended and flawless into the eyeshadow that we've already placed on then I'm going to grab a fluffier brush and then go ahead and blend that chocolate eyeshadow underneath as well. After that, I'm going to grab my BH Cosmetics fluffy brush and just blend everything out so there's no harsh lines. I believe on my left eye, I didn't blend it out as much. Sometimes you don't always see everything, but yeah, just go ahead and make sure that you blend everything out. And then I'm just using my L'Oreal Voluminous Black Mascara on the lower lash line. Then I'm just using my L'Oreal Extra Intense Eyeliner on my lower lash line. And then after that's all said and done, I'm going to move on to my face. I'm using my NYX Bronzer in deep tan and then I go ahead and contour my cheekbones her face was highly contoured so I 
did give me a lot of depth and went around the outer surface of my face and below on my chin and everything just to give me more depth because her face is way more structured than mine. After I go ahead and contour, then I'm just going to go ahead and blush up with Warm Soul. And I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheek and work my way back. And then also too, she was super highlighted everywhere on her nose, on her chin. So I am grabbing Shimmer Brick and Peach and I am just going to highlight all the high points of my face and even on my chin because I never do that. Using Goulish from LA Splash Cosmetics, I am going to line my lips and then mix in a little bit of Kat Von D Lolita and then blend everything out again going back in with Goulish. But that's basically it for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.